morning. My ring battery is 24%. It's giving me a warning. Okay, I'll show you the ambience. Hey guys, it's Katrina of Own Your Family, where you can find the best community about family, health and wellness, and lifestyle. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about biohacking. I'm sure you've already heard that term. But what is biohacking, guys? Let's find out later on. As you can see, I have with me the Ultra Human ring or what you call smart ring and i'm gonna do an unboxing so guys actually i'm not gonna be talking about all the technical specs of this ultra human ring but what i can say is that i'm pretty satisfied with this product it's not the cheapest you can go check out online but it's it works really good it has a lot of benefits and it's so easy to just in a nutshell, I'll, I'm giving you some insights about how it's going with my experience with this ring. But it's, uh, it's very comfortable to wear. Very light. It's easy to connect, easy to charge. It's fast charging. It gives you a lot of insights about your sleep and uh, your temperature. It gives you a lot of insights and, uh, on, on your heart rate. So and it has a lot of suggestions as well how you can improve your um your yes your numbers so go check that out guys I'm not paid to do this but I'm pretty happy with this product now let's go back to biohacking guys what is biohacking now a lot of people they described this term to citizens who are doing do-it-yourself biology like for many biohackers this consists of making small you know incremental diet or lifestyle changes to make small improvements in your health and well-being and i like that because it's uh, you know it it doesn't push you so hard to make a huge change in your lifestyle just one small step, one small change really makes a huge impact. So, guys, um, there are different types of biohacking. You know, it comes in many forms. But there are three most popular types. And the first one is nutrigenomics. The second one is DIY biology. And the last one is grinder. I'm going to be focusing my talk today on nutrigenomics so nutrigenomics focuses on how the food you eat interacts with your genes so this type of biohacking is you know founded on the idea that your body's total genetic expression can be mapped out and optimized by testing how different nutrients affect your health over time it also looks at how different nutrients affects how you feel, think, and behave. It's quite interesting, guys, right? So, let's move on to, you know, asking yourself whether it is for you or not. You know, is it, is it safe? Well, generally, it is. It is safe. A lot of biohacking for, um, things are safe. When you take supplements or making changes to your diet, that can be really safe. But you always have to do your own research, right? And uh, of course, there are a lot of um, different ways as well to do biohacking at home. <laughs> I mean, drinking caffeine, for example, it's a well known to produce booster, you know, to give you some energy to do your activities for the day i mean that's just pretty you know straightforward you can also try eliminating diet which sounds you know weird eliminating your diet it, it rids off something from your diet and then slowly reintroduce it to see how it affects your body 
So I'm not going to be talking more about that. The other one that you can also try is get some blue light for a mood boost. So blue light from the sun, from the sun, not from your phone, can help you boost your mood or enhance your cognitive performance. And the last one, my most favorite, try intermittent fasting, guys. It's a type of diet, diet method that involves only eating between certain times. So fasting uh, is done for an extended period until the next designated time to eat. Like for example, you may only eat during an 8-hour period from noon to 8 in the evening. Then from 8 in the evening until noon the next day. So, of course, guys, it is proven that fasting is proven to lower insulin levels so that your body can burn fat more efficiently. So for those of you guys who want to burn a lot of fat, losing weight, this is a great way, intermittent fasting. It also helps your cells repair any damaged tissues and it protect, protects, your dis, protects you from diseases like cancer so if you want to really start your biohacking activity go and and consult your doctor because i'm not a doctor i'm not into any medical thing it's always important to to consult your medical practitioner and of course the best takeaway here is to do your research and consult your nutritionist or a doctor. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you have any tips on how or what's the best way to do biohacking, drop them, uh, drop them in the comment box. Bye now.